स्पोर्ट्स से जुड़ी किसी भी अपडेट के लिए स्पोर्ट्स तक को सब्सक्राइब करें और हमारे फेसबुक और इंस्टाग्राम पेज को भी जरूर फॉलो करें हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ई इंस्पिरेशन हियर ऑन इंडिया टुडे टेलीविजन एंड टुडे आई हैव गॉट समबडी हु इज आर्ग्युएबली द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल बैट्समैन इन आईपीएल हिस्ट्री 5050s look at the kind of consistency this man has shown over the last several years consistency at the top of the order that has won his team an ipl competition that has taken them to the playoffs multiple times at the top of the order he has been terrific in one word david warner welcome to the show plenty to talk about but most importantly the tournament has happened all of you are finally back to playing cricket whoever wins first thoughts now that one month has passed your first thoughts on this tournament and how successful and important it is for world cricket yes thanks for uh, um <clears throat> allow me to come on the show and thank you for your kind words you always very very kind to me um yeah look i think uh you know what a what a you know what a way to to start like obviously the ipl but first of all the thanking the bcci and all the people behind the scenes to actually get everything uh everything happening moving a whole tournament over 3000 people um collectively to move who are already booked in at all these hotels and venues and then shipped over to um to dubai to host the tournament here obviously dubai is no stranger to holding tournaments but you obviously when you only get a couple of weeks to prepare um they were always happy to take the ipl and uh so far it's going extremely well and uh us players are extremely grateful um for being able to be back on the park and playing the game that we love and putting uh smiles on people's faces back at home during these unprecedented times you know you are such a great ambassador for the sport david wona i mean every time we see you on television the intensity that you bring the passion that you bring is infectious to the sport and every youngster whether it is a priyam garg in your team or an abhishek sharma should model themselves on the intensity and passion that you bring to the table so far it's been a checkered campaign are you confident you can still bring it on track because as leader and batsman you hold the key in several ways for your team yeah look it's a it's a, a great question that you point out there with the youngsters in aggression there's obviously a difference between um you know the aggression with body language when you're out there um you know when you're batting you you're loud calling your intent between wickets they're the things that we try to educate um anyone that sort of comes into our sort of in a sanctum i must say and those guys are extremely well um they they they're strong they're athletic they're fast and that's i i love their talent they're special kids um obviously we're halfway through the tournament we need to win i think 4 out of 6 but one thing that i love about this game is the unknown and also when people have their backs up against the wall and you can play with more freedom because if you if you lose a couple then you're out so that can spark everyone um my team our team is in great spirits <coughs> we're really enjoying being back on the park um where we're thankful we got fantastic franchise owners that understand the game um that really realize that yeah you can happen you can have back to back losses you can have back to back wins but at the end of the day we have to go back to the drawing board regardless if you win or lose and work out how you're going to defeat the next opponent you know that's a very very good answer and that sort of brings me to my next question that as leader when you lose a match like the one say against the rajasthan royals or even chennai which you had under control rajasthan especially uh, how do you sort of inspire your boys that okay this is a one off that was a houdini act i mean whether it's a khalil whether it's a sandeep sharma for example the way sandeep sharma came back in that chennai game after the rajasthan game talks about leadership also what is your philosophy of leadership how do you turn things around david warner after a loss and and for the next half of the tournament how do you motivate your boys yeah i think you got to keep it really simple and try and take as many positives as you can out of those two games uh we always pride ourselves on um obviously our death bowling and and getting off to a good start with the bat this tournament so far we've had to sort of work the other way around and and through the middle we've lost some early wickets um and then we've obviously let a couple of games slip with the ball so they're little basic things they it's just execution probably the deliveries uh at the wrong times uh probably too many of the one delivery and the bowlers know that we we had a good 15 minute individual chat with each of the bowlers the other day before the chennai game 
and we asked them, you know, where would they bowl? What's the right lengths to bowl? And then we showed them their pitch map just to give them a, a visual sight of what they're trying to do and where the ball's actually landing. So the great thing for me was, is Sandy, um, even he, Sandy came to me and, and, and asked, you know, if he could have, say, a third man to Shane Watson. And in this tournament, no people are really fielding it for a, a third man unless you're Joffre Archer. And I allowed him to do that with both him and Faf. And he just said to me to believe him and believe in his lengths. First ball, Faf, he nicked off. And I was like, well done. No, And then what he did, he brought third man up, set a different field for Ambiti Radu. So the thing, the thing that there is, is that's showing leadership himself by coming to me and asking to have a little bit of leeway when he was out there. And I said, that's fine. You own your 24 deliveries. And that's what I keep, that's the message I keep giving across to these bowlers. You're accountable for your 24 deliveries. And they love that. They love that responsibility. Brilliant captaincy. I mean, the fact that what you just told me, I can say that, uh, you know, you are empowering your boys. You are giving them the confidence. This is the hallmark of a true leader. Uh, one thing might be an issue for your team is the lack of a power hitter. I mean, you know, and we've discussed this, uh, Kane Williamson, tremendous batsman and leader. But are you missing a power hitter? And what is the solution? Can Abdul Samad step into the four? Can Abhishek Sharma do the job for you? What is your thought process for the rest of the tournament? Because that is one area you might need improvement. Yeah, <coughs> but, hey, Boria, um, the, these are the questions that are going to be raised in the team meeting, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the, sorry, the team selection meeting. They're obviously going to be talking about that issue right there. Uh, the hardest thing about you know this franchise stuff is um, that IPO you can only play f four overseas. Um, you know, it's very difficult with our lineup and what we have with our structure to try and fit someone else in. Uh, that is the ultimate question from last game was whether or not playing Nadim or Abhishek would Nadim benefit out of going, you know, maybe one or two for 25 rather than the two part time bowlers going for, you know, 40 plus. Um, so they're the things that we're going to have to tinker with. And then whatever we do settle with, I think we have to have that momentum. So give back-to-back -back games to that team to to see how it works because if it, if it doesn't work we're out so we just might as well keep working hard with that team that we do put on the park um you know there might be some disappointed people as well but that's the game of, that's the game of cricket uh you have to understand that it's the best thing for the team um uh, and yeah we, we just got to accept that okay come now coming to you again you know, one thing, b batting, leave, leave aside for a second. I mean, obviously, you're a champion. And I will ask a couple of questions there. But the one thing that every youngster who watches you, Virat Kohli, A.B. de Villiers and Johnny Besto do together is running between the wickets. That is just, you know, exhilarating to watch in those temperatures. Even after you field for 20 overs and you're throwing yourself around every ball, when you come out to bat, the way you run between the wickets is a lesson for any youngster watching the game. Day in, day out, you are able to do that. It is special. Can you give me an insight into this, this aspect of your game that every youngster in your team from India should learn from you? Yeah, I, for, from my point of view, the the understanding about smart cricket. So outside the first six, you know, you don't have to take those risks. I'm not like a Kieran Pollard or a Hardik Pandya. I can't, I just can't go out there for the team's point of view and just try and hit sixes. They have the luxury to do this. So we need to, for me, I believe if I can get six twos, there's 12 runs off the over. If you can do that for four or five overs in a row, yeah, you're gonna be tired, but I'm, I'm, I'm trained for that. I've, I've worked my backside off for, for years and years and years to, to be able to do that. So you take out those risks by being able to hit the hit twos and then what happens is you might get a boundary ball. So it's all about thinking and the thought process behind it. Um, you got that's, that's like having a, an extra string to your bow, being able to run fast twos. Um, and, it, and it's great to have guys at the other end who are able to do that as well. But in saying that, you as a partner have to be able to communicate and trust each other's calls. That is what I've got with Johnny when we're batting together. I haven't batted too much with the other guys yet down in the middle, but they understand, you know, when I call two, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be two, it's you're looking for that two. So they're the things that you have to actually work on when you're out there. 
Um, but the physical side of this game, in this game is important with big boundaries through the middle. You know, you, you here in Dubai especially, it's 85 meters. Yeah, you can hit 85 meters, but it's a high risk shot because you have to hit it so clean to clear the fence. Now, if you've got the option to run twos in that middle period, it's risk-free. That's from my point of view. The bigger guys, they can definitely super. try and take the boundaries on. <laughs> super, super. I mean, uh, now to a bit of a critical one, uh, Devi, and I want your thoughts on this. Virat Kohli uh, is on record taking the point from your game against Chennai and that Paul Rifle call of a wide. And he says, captains should now have the opportunity to review wides and high waist high full tosses because one such ball if Rashid Khan got that for six that match could have gone anyway or either way so Virat is on record saying captains should now have the opportunity to review these your thoughts on this because one ball we know in this format can take the game other way or any other way umpires can make mistakes Paul Rifle did on television it was proved so your thoughts on Virat's comments yeah look um I think having having seen the other day, um, I, I know that players, myself guilty, when the bowler bowls a bouncer and we think it's, uh, you know, it should be a wide, you, you, you do question, you know, where's the consistency? But as we've sat through these captain meetings plenty of times, they still want to keep a human element component to the game, which I know with technology, you, it's all there, right? It's there to use. But what people have to understand is if we're talking about, you know, as captains being down in overs and time and you're going to lose, you know, a couple of lack here and there if you're late, well, you're going to slow the game a lot more down. So, you know, in, in, in that case, they, they, they're saying waist high, no balls. They'll always um, check if you're out only. So you can't review, you can't review that. I, I find wide calls look that that could be a third umpire um decision as well now as well with giving the no balls i think if they feel like it's a wide where do you i always had this argument you have the wide line a bowler's bowling this way now where does it cut the wide line the front of the wide line or the back of the wide line so there, there's so many variables in this there's no right or wrong answer I just think the other day with, with MS at that point, I know he's fr he would have been frustrated if it was called a wide, but the simple fact was it was a wide. The umpire was going to call a wide and he changed his mind by looking at the opposition captain's uh, body language. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying this because um, it was MS Dhoni. It was because the captain was in the sight of the umpire right behind him. So... He's had a he he's behind there as wicket keeper. He can see that, so he's you know shown his frustration, which we all do that. We all do that at times as captains. We show our frustration, but at the end of the day, they can make their calls how they make the calls, and we just got to respect that. So there's no point of arguing. Can't take it back. See, that is the spirit of the game. Uh, you know, you are upholding, and that is what makes you who you are. That at the end of the day, it is very important to say. Okay, I mean, yes, there was a mistake, but there is a human element. Love that. Love that. Because all you said, you said everything, but you said ultimately what prevails is the spirit of the game. That's what makes David Warner, David Warner. Superb. Superb. Uh, you know, there was an argument between Khalil and Tevatia. You stopped that. You know, these kind of things make you who you are absolutely make you who you are now Davy. when you have to turn things around you you've already given me an insight now you've got to lead from the front does that make it more pressure for you or you are accustomed that hyderabad sunrisers in many ways equal to david warner johnny Besto, rashid khan kane williamson that kind of thing obviously david warner does that give you more pressure or you you sort of look at it as this is my role i am the leader i will have to take this as an opportunity how do you look at it yeah, the role that I always play uh, is the one that I've always dreamt of of doing. Um, I open the batting for my country. I open the batting for Sunrisers Hyderabad. Um, I open the batting for New South Wales. I'm very fortunate to be able to do what I do, and I really enjoy that. The responsibility of being captain or being a leader in a team, you have the ultimate responsibility to go out there and give 100% every time you go out there. 
And that's what I try to achieve every time I walk out there. Do I feel the added pressure? I, I don't. I don't feel the added pressure because I've got the support and the backing of the guys that are below me that come in after me. So the way that we're playing our game at the moment, we, we're we just not getting across the line um, in, in a certain area. I don't, I, there's no solution to it. I did, I did um, agree with your point of maybe having a power hitter there at the end uh, could be missing. I think the one detail that we haven't had, we haven't had two batters in towards the end of any game. So that, that there is one slight problem. So that's really important to winning games. Myself haven't really been there towards the back end uh, of, of, of any of the innings. But yet again, the ultimate thing is you've got a team that's there. Now, you know, you, people always talk about my stats and whatever they are. Stats are stats. And, and what happens in the past has happened in the past. I've, I've scored a lot of runs at the top of the order. Yeah, I've gone deep into the games. But you can't always do that. You can't always achieve that. You try as hard as you can. But the support and the backing that I have and trust in the guys that come after me in our order are playing the right brand of cricket that we want to play. It's just not executing it enough to have those partnerships towards the back end. And I believe, I really believe that this will happen in the next couple of games. Fabulous. Now just to switch gears, I mean, you know, all of you guys are playing together, whether it is you and Khalil, whether it is Virat and, uh, you know, Australians in, the, in this lineup, whether it is Shreyash and Marcus. Uh, you know, we have this huge series coming up. I mean, straight on, you all will be on a flight to whichever part of your country. And then that massive, massive winter series, uh, your summer, our winter series, which will define world cricket. Uh, it's such exciting times for world cricket. Are you looking at that as well? The India v Australia, you missed it last time. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, there's obviously a lot of stuff going on behind closed doors to, to get these venues up and running working out bio bubbles you know these unprecedented times it's challenging for everyone and uh obviously the the schedule hasn't really came out there was a draft that came out once it's locked in um then the players can obviously start switching on and um looking towards you know batting at say the adelaide oval or you know mcg wherever we are going to play uh and switch on to to that mode at the moment we're all friends we're all friends and then once we get to australia it's uh off that plane our um we say our goodbyes and give each other a hug and uh it's battle of the country so um i'm really looking forward to that that's a great thing about ipl you know you get along so well but we can compartmentalize and that's the beauty of it we can switch you know we can switch it like that and i think that's where the passion lies with uh, especially guys like virat because you know his passion it is is, is, is fantastic um, you know it's, it's great he rides every single moment and that's what gets him into the contest and that's why he plays the way he does you know and that's why he's so good so you know I'm really looking forward to that challenge I missed I really really missed that um, series I, I watched very closely um, but at the moment um, the thing I'm seeing is that there's a few injuries floating around as well so you know that's 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 what comes with um, you know playing no cricket um, not being able to get out there you know, a few of the Australian guys as well, we, we've spoken about how fatigued um, we're getting, you know, into this sort of um, IPL campaign just just because of the heat, like it's so hot. So it's really zapping you, the back-to-back -back games. You've got to, you know, got to improvise with ice baths. You have to have ice baths in your rooms because you can't, in the change rooms, you can't shower in there. You can't kind of use the toilet facility. So all these strict bio measures, um, people are going to have to think outside the square, especially when we get to Australia as well, how to recover. Last question, uh, Davey, on my show. Uh, that that India-Australia series, I, I think it is now as big as the ashes. I mean, India v. Australia, that series, the kind of viewership, the kind of interest, the kind of intensity, competition, it is as big as the ashes for world cricket. Do you agree with me that it is that marquee series now that each player who plays in it will be looking forward with bated breath? Do I have to be political? <laughs> um, I think, I look, 100%, I, I, since starting playing test cricket, I didn't realize how one-sided everyone just sees the ashes is the ashes. That's the pinnacle of playing test cricket for Australia is playing the ashes. When you play against India, 
it's a different ball game. Like it's the energy has risen a bit more. It's you got this sort of like you almost go over to India, and it's almost like India themselves think when they come to Australia, you go, all right, how am I going to scrape to win? How are we going to scrape to beat these guys? Now, what do we have to do to get that first win on the board to make a statement? You know, it's it's a very difficult thing. It's, it's hard, fast wickets to slow spinning wickets. It's such a difference where Australia, you go from using a kookaburra to a duke that swings around corners. So th there's two, um, you know, big contrast. So I think in, in saying and in finishing, the contest between India and Australia should be definitely held in regard up there as one of the biggest series in world cricket. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and may I finish on these lines that, as I've said at the start of my show, you have shown consistency of a level which is unmatched and unrivaled. Uh, Hyderabad Sunrisers need you. Australia needs you. The rest of the IPL needs you, the brand, because you add to that brand. So all I will say is more power to you, more strength to you as leader, batsman, captain, ambassador. Turn it around for Hyderabad Sunrisers. You can because you are David Warner. You're good for the game. And thank you very much for once again gracing my show. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to speak to you. Wish you the very best. And as I said, more power to you. Thanks, Boria. And I just want to say one thing. I just want to make sure that everyone keep doing what you're doing at home to stay safe and stop this, uh, stop this virus. Keep working hard. We're all in this together. And thanks for all your support. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Take care, buddy. Thank you very much.